I'm Laurel Rothhope and this is my studio. Uh, I'm a sculptor and I work in a variety of mediums, um, wood carving, assemblage, crochet. Um, most of it has to do with biology and humankind's role in nature, where our place is in nature and the interactions we have with it. I kind of came through the, to the arts in a little bit of a roundabout path. I worked a lot of different jobs, but the last one that I had um, was I was a park ranger in Marin County, California. And uh, I always made things. Sometimes I painted on the side, um, but I didn't necessarily see art as, a, as something that I thought I could ever have as a full-time job. Um, I started carving when I was walking down the beach one winter, cleaning up the beach in the park, and I found a ball on the ground and ended up being curious about what it was and cut it open and it was a billiard ball and it was um, a consistent substance all the way through and so I thought it would be fun to carve and I had just bought a Dremel and so I carved um, a small sculpture based on a bird skeleton that I'd found in an owl pellet in one of the parks and was just totally hooked on carving like I found a voice that I'd never found in painting and I haven't been a park ranger now in 10 years so looks like it's art for me. I think uh, when I started really kind of tackling art more professionally instead of as a, just a hobby, when I st started you know, thinking about sharing it and not just doing it for myself was around the same time I moved to the city. And um, I think I, at first it was a very adaptive response. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why I started working with birds is I could see how they could adapt to living in a city and be impressed by that and figure if they could do it, I should be able to do it. Um, so it was a way of, for me to look for natural systems in an environment that didn't feel natural. And so I think a lot of my early work stemmed from that um, because working in conservation and as a park ranger, what I was really interested in was the systems and interactions. And so I was looking for those same things here and it just it took a little bit of a brain shift to figure out how to find them but they're definitely here. And, and yeah, so I was inspired to do a lot of work based on that.